I am Dr. Kingsley Aboliman, a university professor at the Department of Chemical Engineering. And I'm also a director of technology and innovation at the University Technology System. I am an entrepreneur. I set up Syntexis uh, International here in Nigeria in 2003 uh, with some investors. And I went to the US and did the same thing with the setup of Syntexis LLC. I've been an entrepreneur. I've been an academician. I've been a consultant. I've worked with multinational oil and gas companies. I've helped them with their technology program. Some of the uh, achievements I've received till date are uh, the setup of the uh, SPDC Nigeria technology programs. I've also been able to work with uh, national oil companies, the NMPC, the Department of Petroleum Resources. I've worked with high-tech companies like Zigma and all the other companies. I innovate through a strategy called the Novel Catalyst Program, and it is basically on this forum. I look at you as the team, I look at you as the solution, and together with the Novel Catalyst Program, we find many eyes smart like you. In a world that is filled with uncertainties, environmental difficulties, and technology diversities, we had to come up with a solution, and the solution was Syntex. Many faculty members are trapped in their own domain space. So we talked about a company that could help researchers, innovators, and even venture capitalists and angel investors cohabit and win together and succeed together. It was a very difficult task at first, so we had to come up with a policy of the Nobel Catalyst Program. I have I was the recipient of the LNG Prize in 2004, a prize I jointly won with my PhD advisor. I've also invented several other technologies uh, to that, and these technologies are already being used in the oil and gas sector. So my story has been from the oil and gas sector, but as I began to work with the oil and gas sector, I began to find the need and the drive to develop cleaner forms of energy and technology. And that's what brought me to my invention uh, called the um, Water Splitter Fusion System. All of this project was done with my students, my able students. So the technology, I created the technology for the Water Fusion System. Now, in Syntexas, we create a world of solutions. We innovate great ideas. We have a passion to be the technology company of first choice. And we have the passion to sustain our cutting edge. We believe if you can trust us, you can work with us. So we always keep our promises. We innovate great ideas. We, we are a service-oriented company and we want to make it work for you. We have been involved in catalyzing several technologies. And one of the technologies we are looking at is water. Water is used as the source of life. It is what powers the sun and the stars. And we have come up with a technology that can use water to produce high form of clean energy using the helium reactor and the electrolysis system. Now, once you split water, you have hydrogen and you have oxygen. And you can also have uh, you can also do a fusion process further and get uh, radioactive hydrogen, and that is the helium. You can also produce helium. This technology, if fully implemented, can be used to develop the next form of clean tech energy. A lot of people are saying that the next energy is gas. The next energy is renewable energy. But I want to ask you a question. How much will it cost to remove existing technology and implement the uh, renewable energies, whether solar panels or whether windmill, it would take tons and billions of US dollars to even implement. And to think about removing the infrastructure on ground, that is another hurdle to cross. But we have come up with a clean form of energy. With $50 million, we can implement a, um, the plants to produce energy from water. 
and water is available everywhere, water is accessible everywhere, water can be used to generate energy. We have tested this in our simulator and it's already providing great results. It's producing hydrogen. With water, we can also make methane, ethane, and all the olefins and all the arcanes that we can ever think of. Ethanol, we can make with water. With combining it with CO2 and uh, the product from a split process, um, we can have methane, we can have water foil. So we're talking about the next generation of cars using water. And the process we have designed can take in water, take the CO2 from the atmosphere and produce green, clean oxygen. That is wonderful. Current technologies, fossil fuels are producing CO2, but we are gonna produce oxygen from water. A lot of people don't know a lot of people think that the core of the sun, the core of the sun is a hard core. No, the core of the sun is the coolest place. It is made of water. The water begins to split to form helium ions and hydrogen. That's why you have 75, 74% of the atmosphere of the sun, helium. In the beginning, the Bible says, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void and there was darkness upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord moved over the waters, and God said, let there be light. From water, we can make all the elements that we have in the periodic table. So water is very essential to do this. We've also developed other forms of energy. We're working on several other projects, but we want to be able to use water to demonstrate we can do clean energy. I'm presenting to you at the DOD, the Department of Defense in the US, to come and invest in our program and our projects. And this presentation is not just only meant for you, but for the whole world to embrace water as the cleanest form of energy. It will replace renewable fuels like biofuels, um, ethanol foils, fossil foils. It will also replace um, um, solar panels and windmills. These are very expensive form of energy. I will show you an example of how we can use water to create energy. This is the flow of water. If this is a helium ion, helium reactor, and we have electrolysis on the other side, they will come together and create so much energy that can be used to power the turbines, to create foam. So with one liter of water, we can create light in Lagos State. We can create light in all the parts of the world. We don't need any form of water. We drink water. It's not radioactive. If you use a nuclear plant, very radioactive. If you use fossil fuel, you have greenhouse gases. But if you use water, the only products of water is hydrogen, oxygen. Oxygen is released into the atmosphere. It goes to enrich the atmosphere. And the hydrogen is used to produce methane and other forms of products. So I want to introduce you to what our company has been involved with over the last 10 years. We have been using cleaner form of energy and we're thinking water is the next phase we're looking at. I am a creator. I'm an inventor. That's all I can do. I need you to join me to develop the next technology. I need you to come and join me so that we can do this together. A man's intellect is bigger than what you know. There's something inside of us that inspires us to greatness. And that is what I've been able to rely on. I've been able to rely on, on the thing that makes me unique. And that is found in Genesis 1.26. The Bible says, let us create man in our own image, after our own likeness, and let him have dominion. So man is just not, not an ordinary being. Man is a God being. Man is God in human flesh. Man is the expression of God in human flesh. 
And when we embrace the godness inside of us, when we embrace that, we will receive knowledge just as I've received the knowledge. The Bible says there's an inspiration in a man, there's a spirit in a man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. And that has been my motivation. That has been my motivation. That has been the, the source of my inspiration, the source of my creation. He creates the creators. He healed the healers. He exists in nothing and exists in everything. That is who God is. And that is who I am. I can exist in nothing. I can exist in everything because I'm made in the image and in the likeness of God. I'm a child of God. I'm the son of God. I want you to embrace this as your whole being. And we're going to be talking more subsequently on what we want to do. We also have other products. Yes, we also have other products we are doing to you. We build the decision support system and we are going to um, see you on the other side. Thank you.